I'm Joshua, Sophie's grandson, and I just, I'd like to share with you this spoken word. When I was asked to speak of my grandmother, I didn't know what to say, but I accepted in hopes to honor both her and God today. Sophie, foe, sister, daughter, wife, friend, mom. Yes, she was Yaya to me, but the list of words used to describe her went on and on. She was my grandmother, but she was so much more to different faces. So how can one person accurately pay tribute to such a diversified personality standing before you on these stages? Funerals, memorials, songs, words, letters, pictures in a frame. How is the best way for me to rightfully represent and pay remembrance to her name? Is it to tell you she was born in Brooklyn or was a governor of an organization, helped with Red Cross, kids' Sunday schools, Greek festivals, celebrations? Tell her her family came from Greek islands or her father was a watchmaker. Sorba the Greek was her favorite movie or how long making baklava would take her. Her favorite color was purple or she was married for 56 years. Did you know she sold teddy bears? And sometimes she'd get so attached that after she gave them away, she'd shed tears. How to commemorate the compassionate life of a woman so dear. I can only pray I do a good job of conveying her loveliness with words while standing up here. Her advice to me was simple. One word, behave. And I pray that I and we can live up to that each and every day. But some of the greatest things about her sound too good to be true, almost made up. But that's what happens when your life, you live it for God and the love, it overflows like liquid from a cup. It was the last day she was conscious. We went back to the hospital room. 13.30. She was barely awake, responsive just by nodding and noises softly. It was hard for her to breathe, so we didn't expect replies. We just wanted to talk. Told her what she meant, how her life touched us all, and how her love through us would never, ever stop. Though her body was failing, she mustered up energy, every last bit sincerely, to say, I love you. Not once, not twice, but three times, clearly. She's now with friends she'd once been severed from. She loved the beach, so I bet she's sitting on the shore up there with soaking in whatever they can sit us on. <sighs> Yaya, I miss you. I'm not gonna lie. But there is comfort in knowing where you are and why. She believes in the Bible, creation to the cross, so Jesus Christ was her savior. The stories and laws she read, they weren't limitations. They were meant to save her. And I believe, with every ounce of my being, she's in heaven, the cliched better place. And we look forward to being reunited one day, thanks to God's unparalleled grace.